guys, it's Sharon. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. So get this. My friend was telling me about this date that she went on with a guy. She simply did not want to have sex with him. So she was like, I'm on my period. And it was true. She actually was. And the dude responded with, oh, that's fine. Can't you just hold it in? <laughs> yeah, the date ended very quickly after that. <sighs> Fun fact, we cannot hold it in. We truly physically cannot. We wish it so badly, but it's not possible. But aside from that, it had me thinking, what other outrageous things do guys think about girls? Because I know there's more out there. There was more where that came from. And that's the scary part. So what better place to ask this than Reddit? So that's what we're doing today. If you wanna see more videos like this, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. If you wanna see a video similar to this, my video, what guys really think about periods is very much up this alley so go check that out now that being said grab some snacks grab your tea and let's proceed with caution and get into this I'm gonna lose a few brain cells so I found a thread under ask reddit that says women of reddit what's the funniest misconception a man had about women that he probably still believes to this day <laughs> first one says a grown-ass man told me that a period is actually an accumulation of all the dirty things that accumulate monthly in a woman's body and that men are clean so they don't have periods. That's the funny part. The fact that you think men are cleaner than women. <laughs> How would this work? Like if this was generally just accumulating all the crap inside our bodies and disposing of it, how does it all end up in my uterus? And how does it all end up looking like blood? Unless he generally didn't believe in like period blood and he thought this was all just like trash slush coming out of our vaginas once a month. That's disgusting and so unsanitary. That would literally cause so many infections. <laughs> what? Okay, here's what a period is. For those of you out there that do not know, I won't judge you for not knowing Knowing. a little bit but okay a period is when the uterus sheds its lining so what comes out of it period blood and like tissue some bits of your uterus some blood clots like it's just it's your uterus shedding its lining that's it no trash coming out of your body I mean like I wow okay my ex legitimately thought I could control the sex of the baby via a certain sexual position during conception or by eating certain foods this one I can kind of see where he's coming from and the only reason reason I say that I'm not defending him because this is this is ridiculous but I can see where he's coming from because of all the old wives tales like that old wives tale of if you have morning sickness it's a girl or if you have like a low bump it's gonna be a boy I get where he's coming from is it the right direction no but you know he's trying I guess a male classmate who sat behind me kept whispering my name so I turned around and asked him what he needed he said he had a really important question but didn't want to seem stupid at this point I was still under the impression he was talking about something regarding the class he proceeds to ask a girl's vagina is just an inverted dick right again I get where he's coming from and I hate saying that yes and no I mean arguably right if you were to invert a dick could it possibly look like a vagina <laughs> I can't feed into this I can't no dude no so then is just is a dick just an outverted vagina is the sky blue is grass purple you know like I need to know what grade he was in I feel like that's a missing key component in this because if he's like a high school senior then like damn bud but if he's like in fifth grade you know then like uh, maybe he's getting sex ed next year in school <laughs> my male friends told me that I don't necessarily know what blood looks like and that when period blood gets soaked up by a powder tampon it's no longer visible and loses the blood color imagine having your period mansplained to you how are you gonna tell me that I don't actually know what period blood looks like you don't even actually know what period blood looks like because you don't have a period I mm, I also didn't know we were in like in freaking Hogwarts or something with disappearing blood when you bleed and you put a band-aid on does the blood disappear from the band-aid is that blood suddenly invisible no so why would it work for a pad or a tampon I feel like if you don't have a period you can't say like this my ex asked me does it hurt when you take the pad off I said no and asked why he thought it would hurt apparently he thought we stuck the pads to our vaginas like a big bandage <laughs> I see where his head is at. If you have a cut on your arm, how do you stop the bleeding with a bandage? So I can understand why he would think, you know, that the vagina, you close the lips together with a big fat pad band-aid. It's not completely unreasonable. He's trying. The sticky part of, um, of a pad, it goes on your underwear. And then the cotton part of the pad, that's what collects the period blood. That does not turn invisible, by the way. Years ago when I was in high school, I had a classmate start telling me that his back hurt from being awake so long. I offered him an extra strength Midol because I had it and it works pretty well for general pain relief. He refused it on account that he didn't want to have a period. Imagine thinking a pain relief pill would give you a 
period. Why would it do that? Okay, whatever. Enjoy your pain, dude. I tried to help and you know what? Just I hope that back pain gets worse for you. <laughs> my 32 year old boyfriend was confused that I felt totally fine one day of my period and then very sick on the next day. Me too, buddy. Sucks, don't it? Isn't it just insane how one day you could feel totally great and totally fine the next day you feel like you're getting stabbed 25 times. One day you're really happy. One day you're really sad. One minute you're laughing your butt off and then two seconds later you're crying because you're thinking of puppies. Yeah. Hormones. Not fun. I can imagine how this would be confusing for guys considering guys struggle with emotions. So it's insane to think that women can feel all of them in the span of 24 hours. Yeah, it'd be like that. 24 hours across a week every month. Welcome to my life. <laughs> I once argued with a guy who kept saying that women aren't into porn for the porn part, but for the story. And we aren't turned on by sex or naked bodies at all. What story am I looking for? The pool boy? The pizza boy? That's not really a story. That's just his character doing it with someone else. No plot to it at all. Imagine thinking that women just don't get turned on. Women are just bodies that men have sex with. Huh. Yikes. I met a guy on Tinder that didn't think we could have sex because I was taller than him. Like he physically thought it wouldn't work slash fit together or something. He thought his shrimp dick would get lost. Does he know you could like lay down and have sex? Like you don't have to climb her like a tree buddy, but this is indeed not a short king. A friend's boyfriend thought that it was biologically impossible for lesbians to get pregnant. Like once they realize they're gay, their ovaries just shrivel up and quit so they can never have kids. How do their ovaries know if they're gay or not. What? Also, why would they shrivel up and die just like that? <laughs> Guys, lesbians can get pregnant. It's called insemination. You ever seen Jane the Virgin? She's not a lesbian, but she did not have sex and still got pregnant. It's possible. <laughs> that women can produce breast milk on demand even if they've never been pregnant. If that were true, it would be very inconvenient to say the least. That would be atrocious. Imagine just being out at the supermarket, just going about your day and all of a sudden you're just leaking and that happens. That happens to women that just had babies. But I'm saying every woman possible. You just, you look Look around and it's just milk flying all out of our titties. You just see milk forming on our shirts. Yeah, no, that'd be horrible. I don't even like milk. My ex-boyfriend saw a TikTok that jokingly said that us women have blue piss when we were really mad and he asked me if he could see it. I obviously said no and told him it wasn't true. So he seemed not to believe me. So now I stay up till 3 a.m. every night thinking about it. This is why TikTok is a blessing and a curse. But this just really goes to show that you can say anything on the internet and someone out there will actually believe it. Why why would my piss be blue when I'm angry? If that were the case, why wouldn't guys piss also be blue when they're angry? Some men can be very aggressive. What color is your pee? Green? Pretty sure you actually might need to go get that checked out by a primary doctor if your piss is green. That being said, if you're peeing and your pee is blue, you might want to go see a gyno like immediately. <laughs> I didn't know our pee worked like mood rings, but okay. What does yellow mean? <laughs> I'm dehydrated. <laughs> that getting a UTI meant I was cheating on him. What? So UTI is a urinary tract infection. A UTI is not an STI or an STD, a sexually transmitted infection or a sexually transmitted disease. The key words being sexually transmitted, which by the way, actually, it's definitely possible to get false positives for STD or STIs. So if you find that your sexual partner tested positive for one and you tested negative, first ask your partner to test again and then point the finger if they're really cheating or not. But a UTI, yeah, no, you, they don't, they don't work like that. That an intact hymen means you're a virgin and a torn slash broken one means you're not. This pisses me off so much because the fact that people still believe a hymen dictates your virginity or not is insane to me. First of all, virginity is a social construct. Change my mind. You can't. You can have sex and your hymen remains intact or you could never have sex and your hymen breaks by walking, doing the splits, horseback riding, doing a cartwheel. Your hymen could just break, but you've never had sex. So does that make you not a virgin? You are a virgin when you haven't had sex for the first time. You lose your virginity by having sex for the first time. And that's simply, again, just a social construct. But if we're gonna get really into the nitty gritty details, that's how virginity works. Your hymen does not dictate your virginity, if we're gonna dictate virginity. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. One of my guy friends thought that your period worked the same way as taking a piss, that you go to the bathroom, shove a tampon in for a minute, and then pull it out and you're done until the next time you had to go to the bathroom. Okay. So he thinks that when you are on your period, you go to the bathroom, you stick in your tampon to clear 
some space up and then pop it out and you're good. Yeah, so no, so you pop in a tampon and keep it there for a few hours to collect that period blood because that period blood is constantly flowing or just flowing whenever the hell it feels like it. So it's not like we get to choose when to clear out some period blood and then just wait a couple of hours and then, okay, yeah, let me clear up some more now. Yeah, no, we have no control over periods and I would like to emphasize that. I cannot pick and choose anything about my period. My period controls me, actually. <laughs> when I was in high school, my best friend's boyfriend thought that when women went through menopause, it meant that their vaginas were sealed shut forever. How does the vagina seal shut forever? How will I get to pee if my vagina is sealed shut forever? Okay, granted though, your vagina is simply like the actual hole in between the lips where the period blood comes out of. The outer lips is the vulva, but I don't think this guy knows the difference. So I'm assuming he just thinks the vagina is all of it. But now that being said, if my vagina were to seal, I could still pee, but then I can't have sex. How would it seal? I'm not, I'm not gonna feed into this. I'm not, I'm not doing that, no. Wait, what does they think about women who have had menopause and still have sex? No, not entertaining this. When I was a teen, I knew a guy who legitimately thought the girl's breast size had to do with how many blowjobs they've given. I laughed and he did not. When I asked him where the hell he got that idiotic idea, he got angry and left. But no, really, where the hell did you get that idiotic idea? Also, why? Why does something women go through or deal with have to go back and relate to a man? Why is me going through puberty and getting breast have to do with a man? Also, when women get boob jobs, what does he think about that? Does that mean I just like bought blowjobs without actually having to do them? I need answers. And I am so annoyed that he really thinks breast size revolve around men. Actually, that being said, why do so many things that women deal with involve men? Menstruation, menopause, disappointment. Come on. When I was 17, I needed to ask my dad for money to buy period products. He just said, you needed money for this reason the previous month. It's not like you have your period every month. Oh, dad, you got a big storm coming. So about that, yeah, um, I actually do get my period every month. And I feel like if you're a dad and you have a daughter, especially a 17 year old daughter, how the hell are you not gonna know how your own daughter's body works? That's just ignorance at best. I have no shame when it comes to my period and my dad. And I know know it was definitely awkward for my dad when I was like first getting my period. But the thing is, it's nothing to be awkward about or it's nothing to really live in ignorance about. It's a biological function and if you're a man who has a daughter, you should know how your daughter's biological function works. That's the least you could do. This is like the bare minimum, dad. How the hell has no one taught him what or how a period works? He got that far. Not a woman, but after my wife gave birth to my oldest, my younger brother asked her which of her breasts had full fat milk. He thought one of the breasts had full fat and the other had skimmed milk. He was 29 and had a university degree. If this were the case, I would be like, yeah, um, I have soy milk and I have almond milk. Which one would you like? <laughs> this is a Starbucks, dude. <laughs> You can't make this up. I'm at a loss for words. Why? Why? What are you gonna do, you know? At this point, it really feels like guys should take an IQ test about women and their anatomy. And if they fail, you can't procreate. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. Literally the bare minimum you can do. When my sister had her baby, they had collected the placenta in a container beside the hospital bed. Her boyfriend confidently said that it was her uterus. He believed that when women gave birth, they push out their entire uterus and just grow a new one. Bruh. I feel like that would be very painful, but you know, like after pushing out a baby, pushing out a uterus doesn't seem, you know, as bad. I feel like you've got the bad one out of the way and then the second one is just a breeze compared. But um, how exactly would that work? So would my uterus just like disconnect from like the rest of my body? Like would the baby be the one pulling my uterus out? Does my uterus have like a leash on the baby? Like why would you think that my uterus also gets pushed out during birth? Also, how quick do you think uteruses grow? Like just over overnight like also women that get their uteruses removed like do you think uteruses just keep growing <gasps> disappointment i used to work with a guy who thought his wife's and i quote juice sped up healing he was an auto mechanic so his hands always had cuts or scrapes if he cut his finger he would talk about finger blasting his wife so the cut would heal faster that is disgusting what the hell is on his fingers how dirty are his fingers what if a cut was i don't know infected for some reason and he's over there finger blasting his wife disgusting i will never forget when i first went to my gyno to get like my first just checkup or whatever that woman told me never let a man in his crusty dirty ass fingers come 
come near your vagina. And that has stuck with me forever. If you got dirty fingernails, mm, you don't want that disrupting anything down there. That being said, so what about him makes him think that, um, juice is a healing property because this is giving me like oh cum is a great moisturizer <laughs> is there like is there science behind this is there someone out there doing studies on this that we don't know about i do believe the vagina is powerful absolutely i don't know about this powerful <laughs> My friend who was pregnant told me her husband told her they couldn't have sex while she was pregnant because there wouldn't be enough room for the second baby if they got pregnant again before she gave birth. This is the man you like at you pregnant, sis? <laughs> There's no hope. Seriously? So it's not like, listen, it's not completely impossible to get pregnant while already pregnant, but it's super, super rare. Maybe like 10 cases worldwide. Super rare. So I guess he's not completely wrong or in insane but uh what does he think about people that have twins or triplets or quadruplets or freaking octo mom like how does he think that happened i don't want to know this has been just a very i don't want to say it again but i'm going to say this has been a very disappointing video disappointment y'all <laughs> if you've been told a wild misconception about women by a man uh please let me know in the comments below i want to hear all of them i just noticed my little stuffed animal i put up is very fitting for this um he's a plain doctor starting to think that men not knowing anything about women's bodies is kind of plague like right yeah if you want to get them I'll link them I got you sis anyways that being said if you liked this video give us a thumbs up I'm at a loss for words truly I can't believe some people think these things but alas here we are. I really do think this is a failure of parents and a failure of the education system. But you know, I, I generally can't be surprised. Disappointed, but not surprised. That is truly how I felt during this entire video. What's new? But anyways, shout out of the day goes to Vivian on Instagram. Thank you so, so much. If you would like to be shout out of the day, just follow me on my Instagram. And if you like more videos like this, go check out my video of what guys really think about periods and check out my playlist, Only Girls Understand, which is where I read a lot of uh, stereotypical articles or watch a lot of stereotypical videos that apparently all women do. Spoiler alert, a lot of it is uh, wrong, like this entire video, wrong. But anyways, if you want to see more, subscribe and turn on those post notifications and I will see you guys next time. Hopefully we've all learned a little thing or two about how the female body works. <laughs> Bye.